Hey, what's up guys? Midar True Good Development. I'm installing an attic ladder in my shop. Check it out. This is what I've got, and this is where it's going. This is the current setup that I have. Hey guys, before I go too deep into this, just wanted to point out a couple of things. Now, all ladders are gonna be the same. Principle-wise, measurements are gonna be different. Just wanna give you an idea. It will give you what rough opening you need, and the instructions will tell you exactly where you install your supports. A couple of things I wanna mention. First off, I'm doing this shot backwards. I already have my ladder up, but I realize that most people will probably not have an opening like this. You're gonna be working in an attic where it's all ceiling. Um, so the principle is the same. You're still gonna frame out for your attic ladder. However, let's talk about your access up and down because I'm assuming too that you're doing this by yourself. If it's two people, then you can fast forward this segment um, and just continue watching what I did here. But if it's one person and you don't have access the way I do like this, you're gonna have to make sure that your measurements for your support, your temporary support, one by four is spot on, right? Because you're gonna need that to mount the attic ladder up and then support it onto these two guys while, you, while you're up there and screwing your headers so then you can come down okay just remember that so basically what you're going to do is you're going to push your ladder all the way up and then you're going to follow your ladder up using your a-frame and once you're up in the ladder you're going to slide it down gently onto your temporary support then you're going to screw your headers your frame to the headers front and back using at least two wooden screws. If you do want to do the sides, that's fine too. And then you're going to push down on this door. You're not going to use the ladder to come down, but you're going to slide down onto your A-frame. So make sure you place your A-frame strategically so you can get onto it. Or you could use a bench like this if it's an eight foot ceiling, you know, you can maybe just take a drop. So just be mindful of that. If you think you're going to need two people, um, then, then do that. But I just wanted to mention that, that the measurement of these supports has to be spot on. These instructions will give you the distance you need from support A, support B, and it'll tell you exactly how to do it. But one thing you gotta make sure of is your opening is perfectly square, or as square as humanly possible. So do your diagonal measurements to make sure it's square. Because guys, you know, a lot of times when we cut, it's not gonna be perfect, but once you go to do your framing, that's your opportunity to get it really square. Let me show you what I gotta do to put it right up here. Uh, what I did first is I measured, I got a rough opening of 22 by 54. Uh, like this is it, you see my markings? I kind of measured the opening and then we're gonna go ahead and, and cut this up and then I'm gonna have to reframe to create the headers for the, uh, for the attic ladder. All right, so I got my cutout right here and down. I'm just gonna start right, kind of right here. Set your saw. I think I got half inch floors here. All right, I'm done with my circle of saw. I get just a uh, wood hand saw and get to the uh, get to the edges here. Just like that there. All right, guys, I popped the plywood. Now what we need to do is reframe the bottom so you have headers so you can attach the attic ladder onto. So right here, I got this header. So I'm nice and good here at the two by six. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and I'm gonna transfer it over uh, to there. And then I'm gonna sister it with um, another two by six that's going across. All right guys, so I'm at the lower level now. You could see I cut that joist. So again, I'm gonna move it over from here, from here, excuse me, and put it over to this side. 
Nice thing about what I got going on here is I have kind of like a ledger here, that two by four, where all these joists sit on. So I'm gonna sit it on there just the way it is now and then move it back to there. Of course, before I put it in place, I'm gonna use this piece of two by six to go across the two joists. All right, guys, got my first cut. Got my framing nailer. I measured from that wall to where I need to be. And I match that distance onto this wall because it's very important that your framing is square. I got my framing complete. So again, I got this piece across, back support there. This piece is back on and I put my header up here. So I got all my headers uh, to go this in. This attic, it did call for two person installation. I'm doing it by myself. And I think that's okay because I have access to, well, my attic in this case, or mezzanine or whatever. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, ladder up with me. And then uh, I'm gonna, before I do that, I'll do the support pieces as per the instruction so you can sit temporarily sit the attic ladder on those support uh, brackets and uh, just so you can get your measurements right, bolted in place and then continue the installation as per the instructions. Go ahead and complete that work up top. All right guys, we're up here and this needs to be flush with this header. This is the hinged part of the frame. So I want to make sure that I shim this and make sure it's tight. Okay, so I got my two, two and a half inch screws in. Again, these are not the main support. These holes here are the lag bolt support, um, pre-drilled holes. And that's where we're going to use later. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and open this door slowly and then secure the other part of the header. Slowly opened up this door. Now I'm gonna go back up. Now that we're here, I gotta secure this end or this uh, frame into the header. Okay, you wanna measure diagonal to make sure that you are square. I got my headers screwed in. My support is still intact, so I'm able to push the door down and we're gonna do the sides. I cut a half inch piece of ply. I'm gonna see if I can jam it in there a little bit. All right, and be mindful where the pre-drill holes are because you're gonna use those, so you wanna make sure there's shimming behind that too. Place my shim here. All right guys, so you can see I got all my shims in place for where the, right over there for where the uh, lag bolts are gonna go, or lag screws rather. But I wanna talk about framing again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sister this piece right here. Okay, right there, I'm gonna put another piece here and another piece there. Now, even though this is a very short run and this is a two by six, not a two by four, so chances are this sagging or coming down are very slim because it's a two by six and it's a short run, but still, I am gonna add another piece there and another piece there. That way, the weight that comes from pulling this door down as you pull the door down and you get on it all the weight is right here so i want to put these pieces so the weight will be distributed evenly across the way and not uh all on this joist right here
permanent installation. As per the instructions, use a quarter inch bit to go through the shims. Oh, that's nice. Okay, the next step is to remove the temporary support and unzip the ladder so you can cut it to size. Right, now slowly bring it down. All right, it says your first time bringing it down, make sure the final piece is flipped over to the back so that way you can get your measurements off of it, right? So. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do measurements and cut that ladder down. On to the final step. I can't stress enough. This step is super, super important to get right, which is getting the last piece cutting that section. So you wanna double measure, triple measure like I did here to make sure that you're gonna get the right length. The instructions call for two measures. They're calling this measure B, which is from this side or this edge of the ladder to the floor, and then this is A from this side to the floor, and they're calling this left, and the other side is right. So you need to take four measurements in total. So what I did is I used, um, I have like a ruler, a straight edge ruler, and um, just, you know, again, do all kinds of different configurations to make sure you're getting this right. Obviously the main thing here is you wanna hold it at the same angle as the ladder. This flat like that again make sure it's lined up with the ladder and that way you can take this measure here and this one here because it's flat to the ground so not to make this tedious but it's super important so i made my measurements i marked when i need to make my cut i'm gonna go ahead and do that all right guys just a couple of things to note with the cuts it's not a straightforward cut so just be very careful with this once you have your line you don't wanna come out and start cutting this way because look what happens, right? If you cut that way, then you're gonna have an angled leg. What you wanna do is make yourself a guiding line just like that, a straight, a straight line. Then you can use it to guide your saw across. Notice how this is straight, perpendicular to the leg. And that's what you want. And then you keep cutting this way and that will ensure that you're cutting at a, a miter cut. I'm gonna make this a little deeper. And now I'm gonna cut at an angle. Big test. Nervous. Boom! Right. This is nice and flush. Let's check it out. Oh, this feels awesome. Ah. There you go, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's the only way to support it. I can't tell you how excited I am with this ladder. Just working here all day and then finally being able to just come up and chill it's awesome anyways i'll see you guys on the next one